Cyclone Luban has weakened slightly in the last few hours and that's because it's barely moving. In the last 24 hours it's only moved 20 miles with winds of 60 miles per hour now and a pressure of 991 millibars. As of 6am Gulf Standard Time, the storm was located at 14.8 north, 57.9 degrees east, a stage 3 on the CDPS scale, significant. The wind field has grown slightly on the western side as you saw there, it's now 252 miles from Hasik, 294 from Hadibo, 296 from Salalah, 393 from Al Ghaida, and 586 from Al Mukalla those last two locations over the border in Yemen. Uh, at the moment the watch area that we've put out at the moment extends over southwestern Oman into the coast of Yemen. That's where we expect the storm will go in the next few days. The track still remains somewhat uncertain because of how long it's taking to navigate through towards the west. So this is the latest from the GFS over the next few days. We've put an expected rainfall amount up the top right hand corner of the screen as well. And you can see what's expected. The GFS looks like it's calling for a bit more re-intensification before landfall and capitulating as it does so by Saturday or Sunday. And then moving inland towards the north over the Arabian Peninsula, over the desert and will probably be uh, completely unrecognizable by the time we get into the middle of next week. Uh, so the next few days we'll be telling on where the storm actually goes, um, whether Salalah will get tropical storm force winds, that remains to be seen, quite possible. Sea surface temperatures though are fairly warm, around 27 degrees, although I expect they are cooling quite a bit under the storm because it has barely moved and those sea surface temperatures, the energy of the storm is sapping out of the sea waters, making the waters cooler. So the GFS going at uh, cyclone hurricane status again there. Um, over the next few days, category one, um, and then landfall. Now that might be debatable because the GFS probably uh, started that model run when it was a category one. It's weakened a little bit, somewhat unexpectedly, certainly not expected from the JTWC. Uh, that is pretty much totally because of its slow movement. Chances of tropical storm force winds now. Uh, those who have been watching very closely may have noticed that this has moved slightly south. 25% still for Salalah, 80% uh, at Al Ghaida in Yemen um, and some other locations inland could have significant uh, storm conditions and rainfall. Uh, here's what the models think right now. So as you can see, GFS an outlier. So it's not very often that we say that. HWRF just short of hurricane status as well. Uh, wind shear is still pretty low. It's going to rise a little and then drop again as we enter the weekend. And then looking at the sea surface temperatures, they're just about warm enough. Um, and you look at the tracks there, uh, shifting south and west with those latest runs. Here's some more imagery of the storm right now, not looking particularly grand I have to say. Uh, the eye feature that it had has completely disintegrated and it's just a banding feature really, some sort of a semblance of an eye within it but no distinguished eye wall or anything like that. Dry air lurking and lingering to the west of the storm which is not going to make things any easier for Luban as it continues towards the west and potentially some good news if it continues to stall like this Odds are it will continue to weaken as it has done, down to 60 miles per hour. Let's not forget it was 85 yesterday. We'll have more updates throughout today. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and full 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.